So this short video will show you how to complete a VoiceThread assignment. This video was made in January of 2015. If you're watching it at a later date, your versions might be different, but the steps should be similar enough that you can figure out the process. The first step is to log in to Moodle and, and get to your home page. So you shouldn't be in a course, you should be at your home page. What you want to look for next is a block called help and support or something similar like this. It should have something called VoiceThread My Voice. When you click on this, if it's your first time, a VoiceThread account will be created for you and it would ask you to log in. You use your standard university login information and your VoiceThread account will be created and you will be logged in. To get back to Moodle, if you look up above where you logged in, there will be this My Home button. You can click to get back here. And then what you want to do is navigate to your course to the assignment that you need to do. So here I am in the course and these are the VoiceThread assignments. Sometimes they'll have a puzzle piece as a picture, sometimes they'll have a VT as a picture. So I'm going to click on and do this assignment. When you click on it, it takes you to a voice thread link where you can insert the voice threads you've created. It's important that you notice sometimes the instructions for your assignment are right here. In this case, it says, please read the instructions above. So I'm going to read up above here to see what my assignment is. I need an image. I need to use that image to create a voice thread with an audio comment. Your comment should include a description of the thing and why it's important. Be sure to doodle as you speak. So I'm going to show you how to create that now. I would click on create a new voice thread. Notice it's opened up a new window for me. And you can see the first step is to add media. Adding media is very easy. It is oops, a simple click and drag process. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my finder here. And there are my documents. It could be almost anything you add. So here I'm going to add the picture of my important thing. And let's see how that turned out. Oh, lovely and sideways. Uh, here I've got a Word document. Um, and here I'm going to add a PowerPoint just so you can see. When you add a PowerPoint, each slide in the PowerPoint is added separately. And as it works on it, you can see there are my two PowerPoint slides. So if you had a PowerPoint ready, you load it up, all the slides are there separately. You can shift these around so that you can have them in a different order. You can delete them. And I'm going to head and just go with this. And I'll even leave these up even though I don't need them. Once you put your media in, the next job is to create a comment. So I'm going to make sure I'm starting on the first slide and I'm going to click comment. I need to describe my voice thread, um, reflection 42, and a description. Okay. This is what you typically see in a voice thread. Now, some assignments you have to create a voice thread like we're doing here. Some assignments you're just supposed to comment on a voice thread that ex already exists or just watch it. In that case, it would have taken you directly to some place like this. There's a plus picture at the bottom of each voice thread and when you hover over it you will see these options for voice thread comments. Text, you can voice thread with your phone, you can voice thread using the microphone of your device, you can voice thread using the video of your device, the video camera, and you can upload a comment if you'd like. Um, voice thread does have an app and you can download that and use that to create your voice threads if you'd like. So in this case I was supposed to create an audio comment, so I'm going to click the microphone, allow it access to my device. And here's my voice thread beginning. So I, you can tell I'm recording. You'll notice there's a pencil there. It means I can doodle. So this is an important thing in my life. It's my doggy, my Border Terrier. And the most important things about her is that she wags her tail a lot. Here I'm changing the color of my pencil, so her tail is really important. And she gives excellent kisses. So I'm marking that important point too. So you can see I'm just going over it to show you all the different parts. Then I'm going to stop recording. And here's my and voice it will immediately beginning. start so playing it back. So I'm going to pause it. And at this point, you can choose to save it. You can choose to cancel it and start over. I'm just going to point out quick that there are options to zoom here. You could also do this while you're recording. Also, while I was recording, there was a place, and I guess I'll cancel so I can show you this. I'll make another audio comment. 
I'll show you a few of the other places that you can do. So I think I'm going to zoom in during my recording so I can show her pretty face a little bit better. This will switch me to the other slides and I could write on them and there's my next slide. So all during this comment I could go through the slides. Okay, there I'm doodling a little bit more just to make sure. Now I'm going to stop this recording. Um, I'm pausing this and I'm going to go ahead and save this comment. If you add a picture at this point, whatever your avatar is, like a picture of you, your instructor will be more, will find it easier to identify what your comments are. In this case, I'm not going to bother. And so I get stuck with a house for my icon. And there is my comments. Your comments show up here on the left. So now that I am all done with this, I'm going to close it. And there is just more editing options. I could go back and try comments again or add an additional comment. VT Home will show you where all of your comments are. Okay, I mean all your voice threads are. Notice I haven't gotten back to the assignment. That's because it's hiding over here. There's another tab. So if I go back to my original Moodle tab and I refresh this list, you can see I've got two versions of my reflection here. So now I am going to click on that one and choose to submit that assignment. And I'm done. And everything is completed. And there you go. That is how you create a voice thread assignment. Good luck.